A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In recent years, the world has witnessed an alarming increase in climate-related disasters, prompting nations to take significant steps towards mitigating the effects of climate change. From wildfires raging in Australia to devastating hurricanes in the Caribbean, the impact of global warming is becoming increasingly evident. As temperatures rise and weather patterns shift, governments are scrambling to implement policies that will not only address the immediate threats, but also ensure a sustainable future for generations to come. The latest reports indicate that 2023 has been one of the hottest years on record, with scientists warning that we are rapidly approaching a critical tipping point. In response, many countries are setting ambitious goals to reduce carbon emissions and transition to renewable energy sources. For instance, the European Union has pledged to become climate neutral by 2050, while the United States has rejoined the Paris Agreement, committing to cut greenhouse gas emissions by at least 50% by 2030. Meanwhile, developing nations are calling for support from wealthier countries to help them adapt to the impacts of climate change. The United Nations has emphasized the importance of climate finance, urging developed nations to fulfill their promise of providing $100 billion annually to assist vulnerable countries. This funding is crucial for implementing sustainable practices, building resilient infrastructure, and protecting ecosystems that are vital for biodiversity. In addition to government initiatives, grassroots movements are gaining momentum across the globe. Activists are rallying for change, demanding that leaders prioritize climate action over economic growth. From climate strikes to protests, young people are at the forefront of this movement, raising awareness about the urgent need for systemic change. The business sector is also taking notice, with many companies committing to sustainable practices. Major corporations are investing in green technologies and setting their own targets for carbon neutrality. This shift is driven not only by regulatory pressures, but also by consumer demand for environmentally responsible products. However, the path to sustainability is fraught with challenges. The fossil fuel industry continues to wield significant influence, and political will varies widely from country to country. Some nations are still heavily reliant on coal and oil, making the transition to cleaner energy sources a complex issue. As the world grapples with these challenges, the need for collaboration is more critical than ever. International summits, such as the upcoming COP28, are essential for fostering dialogue and cooperation among nations. These forums provide an opportunity for leaders to share best practices, set collective goals, and hold each other accountable. In conclusion, the climate crisis is a pressing issue that requires immediate and concerted action from all sectors of society. While progress is being made, the scale of the challenge demands an unprecedented level of commitment and cooperation. As we move forward, it is imperative that we prioritize climate action to protect our planet and secure a sustainable future for all. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.